What's up guys, it's Joshua Simmons here, Aesthetic Calisthenics and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do the muscle up. This exercise tends to be what people new to calisthenics want to learn first and is what gets people into calisthenics in the first place. This exercise will always get the attention of fellow gym goers when performed and will always be seen as impressive. I previously made a muscle up tutorial on my Instagram a while ago and it did really well and it taught dozens of people to finally unlock the muscle up. But that was a while ago and I've learned a lot from then, training and learning from different people and I want to improve on that and add to it in this YouTube video. There will be two types of muscle ups that I'll be teaching you in this video. For the advanced calisthenics athletes we have the strict form muscle up which is a lot more clean and impressive looking and this relies more on strength than technique. For the beginners to intermediates we have the kipping muscle up which is not as clean looking and impressive as the strict form muscle up but it certainly is impressive. I believe that you can do the kipping muscle up if you are able to do at least 10 clean form pull ups. Now before we go any further, I want you to smash that like button, um, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I'm not asking for money or you to go fund me on my Patreon, I'm just asking for you to click the like button just to show your appreciation for my videos if you like them. So I'll be here, I'll just wait 5 seconds for you to go down, click the like button and then we'll carry on with the video. All right, better click that like button. Let's go. For the strict form muscle up, a prerequisite that is required for you to do this exercise is at least 20 clean form pull ups and 10 straight bar dips. If you are able to do that, then you should have the strength in order to perform this exercise. To perform the muscle up, you must know that you can't perform a standard pull up from a dead hang to perform the muscle up. This is because by pulling straight up the bar is going to get in the way, block you and kill your momentum stopping you from getting over the bar. Instead you want to pull round the bar in an arcing like motion so you will be able to keep your momentum from the pull up to get your chest on top of the bar. In order to get the arcing motion you need to get a swing on the bar. Start by being under the bar and taking one step back. From there, you're going to jump to the bar and by jumping to the bar, you're going to have a natural swing. Now we want to perform the pull up at the end of the swing or at the furthest point forwards from the bar. This is all about timing guys and it might take a bit of repetition to finally master. This will pull your body away from the bar, giving you the arc-like motion that is needed for the muscle up. Another thing that I want you guys to do is perform the pull up in a hollow body position. This is contracting your abs with a posterior pelvic tilt. I also want your elbows to be tucked in when doing the pull up. I wouldn't normally recommend you to do a pull up like this, I'd normally say to have you do it with an arch back, however, this way with the hollow body hold is going to allow you to get that arc motion to allow you to get over the bar without having the bar get in the way and kill your momentum like with the arch back pull up. You also want to perform the pull up as hard and explosively as you can to give yourself as much momentum as possible needed to transfer from the pull up phase to the dip phase of the muscle up. When transferring from the pull up phase to the dip phase, I want you to think of it more as getting on top of the bar with your chest rather than pulling yourself above the bar. Once you have pulled up explosively, I want you to press your head forwards, getting your chest above the bar with your sternum resting on top of the bar. From there, it should be quite easy to perform a straight bar dip, which is just extending your arms out so you're comfortably above the bar. If you are still struggling with the strict form muscle up 
after a lot of repetitions and a lot of practice, you need to work on your explosive pull-up power. In order to do this, we are going to do explosive pull-ups. To do this, you're going to train the pull-up like you were in the strict form muscle-up with the swing and the hollow body hold, elbows tucked in. But now, I want you to pull as hard as you can, trying to get as high as you can with the pull-up. This is going to train that explosive power needed to get your body on top of the bar. Do five sets of five repetitions of this before every workout and you should get that explosive power needed to do the muscle up. For the beginners to intermediates, I'm going to teach you the kipping muscle up. You should be able to do the kipping muscle up with enough practice and repetition following the steps that I'm going to tell you if you're able to do at least 10 clean form pull-ups. But hear what I say, clean form. No partial range of motion on the pull-ups. I want all the way down, all the way up, so your chin is comfortably over the bar and on the way down, your arms are fully locked out. I've seen too many people tell me that they can do 10, 15, 20 pull-ups, but their range of motion is terrible and they're kipping. That's another thing. Do not kip on your pull-ups. I don't want to see any leg action going on. This is not a leg exercise. It's a back exercise, okay? So if you're not doing clean form pull-ups, get off this video, hit the gym and start doing your pull-ups correctly. When you can do 10 clean form pull-ups, you can come back to this video. Now for the kipping pull-up, we're going to add onto the steps of the strict form pull-up. At the end of the swing, you're going to arch your back and press your chest out as much as you can to try and get as far out on the swing as you can. You're then going to rapidly pull your stomach in into a hollow body hold and drive your knees as high as you can into your chest while performing the pull-up. This is going to give you the swing and the arch to get yourself over the bar whilst giving yourself extra momentum needed to get yourself over the bar. This step is all about timing. You want to press your chest out and arch your back right at the end of the swing and get into the hollow body hold and drive your knees into your chest whilst performing the pull-up. Getting the timing is not easy and will need to be practiced with a lot of repetitions of attempts. It took me a long time and a lot of practice to finally get the muscle up when I was new to calisthenics. And I was so ecstatic when I finally got the muscle up. And so will you when you follow the tips in this video, put the practice in, put the repetitions in, and you will finally get the muscle up. And you will feel that ecstatic feeling of pride and excitement when you finally get the muscle up because you will if you can do 10 clean form pull-ups you'll be able to do the muscle up by doing the steps in this video and practicing it if you like this video make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos like this in the future and comment down below what you thought about this video and what videos you might want next and as well Click the like button right there. Yeah, there, isn't it? Yeah, it's that side. No, it's that side. Yeah, click the like button. If you've got all the way to this point in the video and you've learned from this video, which you will do, then show some appreciation. Click the like button. Like I said, I'm not paying you. Or, not me. You're not paying me. No. No. Huh. Well, like I said, before in the video, I'm not asking you to pay me or go fund me, yeah? I'm just asking you to click a button just to show some appreciation, help the YouTube algorithm out, and it helps my channel out so I can make more videos like this in the future as it supports me and motivates me, guys. All right, click the button. Look, it's right there. There should be a 
think here as well to subscribe or here should be another video you can click on here click that click that but click the like button that's the most click the like button yeah click it yeah you yeah.